In this video, we will cover working in WorkShared projects and using work sharing features. In order for multiple users to work in the same model simultaneously, work sharing must be enabled. To enable work sharing, switch to the Collaborate ribbon. And then in the Manage Collaboration panel, click Collaborate. When enabling work sharing, there are two options, and this is essentially where the central model is saved. You can select within your network or in BIM 360 Document Management. For this example, select within your network and then click OK. Revit then enables work sharing. This is a process that consists of creating work sets and adding any existing components to those work sets. For example, when you click Work Sets, the Work Sets dialog opens and you can see the two default work sets that are created, Shared Levels and Grids and Work Set 1. I'll click OK and then I'll select a lighting fixture. When I scroll down in the Properties palette, you can see a work set parameter under Identity Data. Any model element created in the project now will be assigned to a work set. Now, before we continue on too far, the next step is to save this current project as a central model. And so when you are working in a work shared project, you actually need to work in a local file and then synchronize your changes to the central model. But at this point, you'll notice that the synchronized tools are not available. And in the Quick Access Toolbar, when you click Save, you'll get a dialog stating that this is the first time that the project has been saved since work sharing was enabled. And this project will now become the central model. And so if you want to proceed, click Yes. And then Revit will save the current project as a central model. Now, as I mentioned before, you don't want to work in the central model. You want to create a local model and then synchronize your changes back to the central model. So I will click File, Close, so we can close the central model. And then I'll click Open. And in the Exercise Files, I will navigate to the central model that we just created. Now, the work sharing options are available in the open dialog. Notice that Create New Local is selected by default. This will create a local copy of the central model and it will save it in the location specified in the Options dialog. You could also select Detach from Central if you wanted to create a file and detach it from the central model. You could then save that as a new central model if you wanted to, or you, there are other options that you can choose. I'll select Create New Local, and then click Open. Once again, this will create a local copy of the central model and save it in the location that I have specified in the Options dialog. It will also append my Revit username at the end of the file name and that can be specified in the Options dialog as well. At this point, you can work just like you would in a Revit project. You can model components, lighting fixtures, electrical fixtures, create circuits, whatever you need to do, and then synchronize those changes back to the central model. We can do that on the Collaborate ribbon and use one of the options in the Synchronize panel. So we'll discuss that here in just a second, but once again, there are work sets and any model element you create will be added to the active work set. So in this case, we'll be added to work set one. You can also use the gray inactive work sets option and when toggled on, any elements not belonging to the active work set will be dimmed. And then when you add components, you can synchronize to central in order to save them back to the central model. 
And so on the Collaborate ribbon in the Synchronize panel, the Synchronize with Central Tool is actually a split button. So I'll select Synchronize and Modify Settings. And this opens the Synchronize with Central dialog. You'll want to pay attention to the options under After uh, Synchronizing. And these are all the options that you can relinquish. And in this case, we only have one, which is User Created Work Sets. So I'll select that and then click OK. At this point, I'm synchronizing with the central model, and it's relinquishing anything that I chose in that dialog. If I open the dialog again, you'll notice that none of these options are available because I just synchronized and I relinquished everything. And so you'll want to make sure that those options are selected. And then afterwards, you can use the Synchronize Now option, and it will use the settings that you have specified. I'll click Cancel, and then we'll look at the other two tools in the Synchronize panel. Reload Latest will update your local model with any changes or anything that's been added to the central model, but it will not publish your changes back to the central model. Relinquish All Mine will relinquish your ownership of work sets and any borrowed elements that have not been changed. And so you won't be able to close your file, or well, I should say, it's not recommended that you close your file when maintaining ownership of, of components. And so Relinquish All Mine is a way to relinquish everything if you just want to close the model. And during the synchronization process, you will save your changes to the central model, and it will also relinquish your ownership of work sets and elements, and then it will also reload the latest. So Synchronize with Central will essentially do both of these as well as a few saves in there. Additionally, when you're working in a work shared project, you can use the work sharing display modes. When you click work sharing display in the view control bar, you can see that there are four work sharing display modes. And you can also adjust the work sharing display settings. I'll select work sets, and then the components in the view will be color coded based on their work set. If you use one of the other options, then they'd be color coded based on the checkout status, who owns the elements, or components that have been updated. In this case, we're color coded by work sets. The other thing that's nice about the work sharing display modes is that when you hover over a component, it shows you the current owner, who it was originally created by, and who last updated it in the central model, as well as anybody that's currently requesting it. So once again, the work sharing display modes are very helpful when you're working in a work shared project.